What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and I've got a new video for you guys today, and it's going to be a replay of a battle I had earlier today. Now, originally, I wasn't planning on posting this video to YouTube, um, so when I that's why I wasn't doing it live. I didn't have my webcam set up. I didn't have my computer. Up. I didn't have anything. I was just doing this battle for fun. Um, I was looking for battles online, Sarah B, Game FAQs, uh, whatever chat sites, I, I just sort of like go down the list and grab a couple of battles whenever I feel like one's depleted, I'll go to a new one. And I just found this battle and thought like, whatever, I'll have it. And originally, even at Team Preview, I didn't know I was going to post it. I was just having battles for fun, I had a couple more for fun earlier, I was trying out, I made a couple of changes to my Faithful Six team, which I'll go over with you guys in a second. So I just wanted to have a battle just for funsies. And... Um, after about halfway through this battle, I was like, I gotta post this. I gotta do a post commentary and I gotta post this. So I'll go over with you guys right now what I saw. This is Maxfeld, and Maxfeld brought an Ubers team. So <laughs> only 50% of them are actually like Ubers tier, like banless Pokemon. But I mean, that's usually how Ubers, how Ubers tier works. You can't bring a full Ubers team. They don't always cover all of each other's weaknesses that well. So, um,. I decided to bring my Faithful Six, but I made two changes to it. So you guys might remember my old Faithful Six team was um, Arcanine, Slowbro, Blissey, Gudra, Excadrill, Choice Scarfed, and my Catch You Off Guard, Choice Banded, Iron Fist, Conkelder, which almost nobody runs and has worked great for that team. I made a couple switches because I was curious as to whether or not it would work. I switched out my Excadrill scarfed for a scarfed Landorus. Um, the reason there being, part of the reason I had Excadrill in the first place is I needed a fast ground type coverage to, uh, and I needed a fast coverage and answer to um, a couple of other really quick threats that uh, the Excadrill did perfectly. And I did lose a couple of coverages there, namely Gengar, who was one of the big reasons I brought um, Excadrill on my team in the first place, the Mold Breaker Earthquake. Um, but I still think I can handle it okay in this team, given this team, so I just wanted to try out a couple of these changes. So, those are the changes I made, I was just looking for battles, and Maxfeld comes out with his, uh, Ubers team, and I'm like, or with her Ubers team, I'm like, let's do it, you know, let's just have fun. I like Ubers battles, honestly, like when I'm playing them with my Faithful Sixes, I usually win them, but it's just such, and it's kind of an ego boost when you beat an Ubers team, but, you know, the, uh, this is just, this is gonna be a fun battle, so I'll just go over my team that I have with you guys right now. So like I said before, this is the Choice Scarf Landorus, and I have uh, Stealth Rock on him, U-Turn, part of the U-Turn core. You've seen this Landorus before, he's been in my um, ground top and flying type gym videos. I brought the Blissey here, Blissey's Leftovers, my uh, my Gen, Gen 4 Wish Blissey, uh, Eggington, uh, Event Wish Blissey, I absolutely love this Pokemon. Um, I know a lot of people kind of hate it, I don't use it for pure stall, I'm much more of a pivot, like I like to switch a lot, you guys probably know that about me, even as a, like, even when I'm in gym mode and I can't really switch that much, I really love switching and that's where Blissey comes in handy for me. I'm bringing the uh, specially offensive Gudra Modest, running the Assault Vest, um, it's my Sap Sipper Gudra Bunny Sore, not my Gooey Gudra, um, and not my defensive Hydration Gudra, and then I have... Uh, my Mega Scizor here, and uh, this was taking place of my Conkelder. I wanted some more priority, I wanted power, but I also, in losing my Choice Scarf Excadrill, who also carried Rapid Spin, I needed a Defogger, so that's what my Mega Scizor is there for. Defog, Roost, uh, Bullet Punch, U-Turn on that Scizor. Um, that's the one I chose to bring up. A couple other scissors. And here's my Physically Defensive Arcanine Thresh. You know he's back. Uh, mascot of the channel, so I had to bring him back, of course. Uh, he's not getting switched out of this team yet. Physically defensive, um, running the Will-O-Wisp, Morning Sun. Um, Flare Blitz, not Flamethrower. Uh, I won't get into why I did that now, but there's a couple of counts I did that it made it a better choice for me. And the Extreme Speed. And then, of course, Slowbro. And I run a couple of... I've changed the Slowbro a lot. I only actually have one Slowbro, but luckily I can um, switch out a lot of his moves with ease. Um, he's running Scald, Psy Shock, not Ice Beam. Thunder Wave, not Toxic, and Slack Off, and I'm considering getting rid of the Slack Off, but it, for now it's working out well. So my team, I'm looking at my opponent's team, and I kind of had to make a little bit of a, 
lead prediction here, but it was pretty easy. The very first thing I see, that's a dark rye. Dark Rise are such obvious leads, guys, and everybody knows that, so I went into this battle knowing, like, you know, it wasn't even a prediction at that point. I knew the Dark Rise was going to lead, but I did my due diligence and I went down the list. Looking at the team, the Latios is kind of, kind of looks like a specially defensive Latios, probably carries, like, the Defog or something, so I just assumed that that's not a likely lead. I uh, mixed that up. Um, then we follow, following that we have four sweepers and you know these ones are just not very likely leads but the gene set could be a choice scarf set, uh, choice scarf u-turn could be a common lead so but that said I, I just Landorus was probably the best lead choice for me given the dark right or the gene sect um, if the gene sect was choice scarfed or I would have feared the choice scarf if he led I would have feared the ice beam, um, so I probably would have switched that and gone from there. But this is what my prediction was. I was assuming the dark rise, so I wanted to leave with the landers. My reason was I knew I'd outspeed with my choice scarf, not otherwise, and I'd get rocks up. So he does lead with the dark rise. And I lead with my landers, so everything is going to plan so far. I'm assuming he's gonna go for the dark void. Um, you know, you always fingers crossed that he misses it, but I go for the stealth rocks anyway. I'm now locked into that, so obviously I'm not doing much next turn. He does get the dark, uh, dark void landed, so um, I know what my plan is now. My plan is, assuming that he's going to go for the dream eater, I'm going to switch out. He gets a little bit of damage with the bad dreams. I'm not too worried about that. I switch out into Blissey because I know Blissey can wall this thing for days, and I know it can get the heal bell off, and I'm not sure whether or not you know, he's okay with um, Sleep Claws or not. So, he does go for the Dream Eater, sees that he can't touch me, and switches out. So it's nice of her to not go for the Double Dark Void. Switches into Latias, and I'm like, oof. So I went for the Heal Bell on that turn just to get rid of the Sleep. This Latias scared me, guys, because I was like, oh no, is he gonna pack the Psy Shock? Then I find out, and this is where I knew I had to post this video, it's a Mega Latias. So I was like, I have to post this video now, I have to post it. I haven't seen one yet, it's my first time seeing one. He goes for the Mist Ball, I think he was predicting my switch back into Landorus maybe, I'm not entirely sure, but I just went for the Toxic just to kind of, to see what was going on. At this point, thinking that he had already predicted my switch, I go for the Protect here, because I'm really scared that he has the Psy Shock, and Psy Shock does a hefty amount of damage to Blissey, even as just regular Latios, Latios form. So I was really scared. He ends up with drawings. At this point, I'm not that scared. I'm assuming they don't have the side shot. But um, I had already gone for the protect, so um, protect wasted. The Victini comes in, takes a little bit of damage from the Stealth Rock. Here, I'm not positive I know what the Victini is going to do. It could V create, it could uh, Fusion Bolt or whatever. But I decide I'm going to switch into Landorus because. Um, I'd be immune to the fusion bolt and the V create won't kill me. Um, not a, and he's intimidated, so I'm assuming it's a choice band. Goes for the V create. I'm like, no problem. I'll live this just fine. Landorus is pretty bulky in my build, and it's a crit. <laughs> so Landorus gets taken out. Oh, so early, so early in the game, and I am. Um, I'm really disappointed because he's my strongest physical attacker on the team. So I bring in the Fresh, who I know can wall this to daze, and I'm like, I really didn't want to like slow the game down this much, but that's going to be how it has to be. The Victini's had too many stat drops, I knew he was going to switch, so I actually predicted that switch and went for the Will-O-Wisp. Uh, and I'm glad I, that he did end up switching, but um, I'm proud of myself for that play a little bit, like seeing that the the Victini was in and knowing that the Will-O-Wisp wouldn't have gone through, but then the Dark Ride does end up switching in. Um, at this point, I know he's going to go for the Dark Void again, um, I have no one to sleep, so I'm switching into Blissey, assuming that he's going to land the Dark Void, and then I'll, then he'll go for the Dream Eater again. That's my two turn prediction here. So he actually misses the Dark Void, and I play a super messed up play here. I go for the Protect just to get a little bit of extra burn damage, knowing he's going to go for the Dark Void again. So I get a little, an extra 12%, I'm sorry, I know it's bad, it's stally, but I had to do it. He goes to the Dark Void here, I knew I was going to take it, and I know, or I know, I predict that next turn he's going to go for the Dream Eater. So, uh, I know that Blissey has the Natural Cure, so I'm just going to switch her out, get rid of that, um, that sleep status on her, and uh, make the Dark Ride waste another turn, get another team turn of burn in on him, and make him um, just waste the Dream Eater entirely. So, uh, I end up going for Scizor here. 
thinking that if he stays in, I can hit him with a bullet punch, or maybe I'll decide for a U-turn. I haven't really decided. Uh, does go for the Dream Eater and takes a little bit more burn damage. But then I decided that I think he was going to switch, so I decided I'd take this opportunity to get a Mega Evolve and a U-turn to get a chance to get into someone who can um, handle you know, the switch in a little bit better. He goes for the big teeny, so good thing I did do that. The bullet punch wouldn't have done anything. The U-turn's not gonna do too much, or so I thought, um, but it will get me the opportunity to bring in the right match for this big teeny. I go for the U-turn here. The big teeny almost dies to it. Um, so I decide that the best switch in at this point would be Fresh. Fresh comes in, um, gets the Intimidate off, and now I'm in solid position for this Victini. Just finish it off with an extreme speed, and boom, Fresh picks up kill number one. So, um, I'm, I'm happy with where I'm at right now. Uh, one Pokemon down, the Victini's dead, um, and he brings in Meloetta. Now, I'm assuming Special Attacker, you know, I haven't seen Meloetta that often, so I just want to switch into Eggington just to wall it. And close combat comes at me, so I'm like, oh, it's a Relic Song, Meloetta. Luckily, before it's Relic Song, Meloetta actually does really pitiful damage with that. Gets the, uh, the D-drops here, and obviously Eggington can't take another one of these, but I go for the Protect here to see if it's going to Relic Song, or to see if it's going to switch, or, you know, just to sort of scout it out, and it buys me a little bit of extra, um, a little bit of extra leftover recovery. Um, at this point, obviously, I know it's going to stay in, it's going to go for another attack. I have to switch out, I go into Slowbro, who will resist and take almost nothing from this close combat. And now it's got two defensive drops, and it's going to switch. I just, I know it's going to switch. There's no reason it would stay in and take all this extra damage. So, it takes a little bit of damage from that Rocky Helmet too, which I forgot. Uh, he does switch out, so I knew the switch was coming, so I just wanted to go for the Thunder Wave to see whoever came in, whoever would come in for it. Um, and it's the Gene Sect, which is absolutely perfect. He gets the Special Attack Rise, which is a little unfortunate because I'm more scared of the Special Sets than the Physical Sets. So. He gets the para, I am pumped about that, because that is severely neutered if it's a choice scarf or if it's a uh, gear grind, the setup kind. So I switch into Bunny Sword, assuming it's a special, and he goes for the solar beam, and I have no idea why he did that. No idea at all. It's just a bad play, you know, a lot of some of these Ubers players aren't really prepared for it. I knew I outsped, I went for the flamethrower. That was the first big sadness I had, was that he went for a solar beam, because that's sort of like a, really, you're going for a solar beam? The Arceus comes in. Arceus is all over the place, guys. I don't really play Ubers that much, but my big fear there was the way he brought it in, and with the team build he had, it might have been a fairy plate or a pixie plate. So I bring in Fresh, uh, get the Intimidate off in case it's uh, just going to be a normal type. Uh, goes for the Judgment, and it... Um, it hits neutral, so I'm still not sure exactly what type this Pokemon is, or this Arceus is in particular, but I know I'm not going to do too much to it. He goes for the Hyper Beam, I'm like, oh no, he's next set, the special attack, but it's probably not going to take me out, I'm confident in, and it almost does though, so this is how I know it's 6 IV all his Pokemon. He should have understood that it was a shiny Arceus, of course it's 6 IV, but I get the burn off just so it's no, it's neutered as a physical sweeper. Now I'm only really concerned about its special end. Um, kind of looks to be a pretty set up and, or special end anyway. I go for the Morning Sun here, just so I'm not so close to dead here. Um, at that range and after Leftovers Recovery, I could actually take another Hyper Beam. Um, but... I'm not really going to do a whole lot to this Arceus, even if I'm kind of staying in here, so I bring the Fresh back out. Um, I'm kind of anticipating the uh, Hyper Beam again. I know Slowbro could take it, so um, but he ends up going for the Recover. I'm like, ugh. One of these guys. It's a bulky special set Arceus, I guess. Uh, I mean, it's just annoying. So he goes for the Judgment here, and I'm like, okay, can we figure... Sorry guys, that's my phone going off. <laughs> Um, I don't- I still don't know what type he is. He hit me for neutral there. I decided to just go for the skull, try and get things going on this Arceus. It does nothing. After the burn, still not even that low. Um, he ends up withdrawing the Arceus, and I was kind of happy about that, because I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do here. But, um, I ended up with my, um, 
with my slow bro just going for the slack off just to kind of get up to a healthier range. I knew he was going to attack first again and then I was going to make a switch after that. But he switched into Latias. So at this point, like I said earlier, I was pretty confident he's not going to be um, Psy shocking me, especially not against the slow bro, even if he did totally outplay me and pack it just for this right opportunity. He goes for the missed ball. The only attack I've seen this guy pack all all game, and you know, I'm not even really familiar with it as, an, as a move, but the Latias is not going to hurt me. Takes a little bit of poison damage, and I'm still thinking this is especially defensive one, so I predict that he's going to recover. He ends up recovering, so that means it's perfect timing for me to have gotten my wish off. So I go for the wish here, and originally my plan was to switch next turn, but I thought that would be too obvious to uh, pass off my wish to, like... Arcanine or something. So I decided to just give it to Blissey instead, keep Blissey healthy for, uh, I don't know, the Meloetta switch in again later in case it's a mixed set, or the um, Arceus in case it's not mixed set. He goes for the charm. I think he was predicting a switch into Scizor there. Um, because he's, I think, a little scared of the... He predicts it again. I think he's a little scared of the U-turn. Um, or at least I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt that that's why he's doing that. But after I just stayed in, I went, of course, for the next wish. Um, rather than switching out at that opportunity. And I'm going to take advantage of the time that... The fact that he's so low poison-wise to switch into fresh here. Um... Uh, he's obviously going to go for the recover, but it's really going the damage is really going to be mounting up here. And Fresh is going to get back up to full health, going to be in a really safe spot for whoever he wants to bring in. And I just like to highlight Fresh, guys, on this team. Like, the big deal I have is I just love getting Fresh as much work as possible. So the poison's really racking up. He's going to switch here. I know he's going to switch. But, I mean, there's not a whole lot I can do. I don't really want to go for a Willow because a lot of his team is crippled at this point. So, I just end up going for the um, going for the extreme speed here. It does a little bit to Meloetta, but it's not quite a two-hit KO. Um, he ends up going for the Relic Song, and this is kind of what I was a little afraid of. Like, it's a special attack. It's not going to do too much to me, but it is going to switch him into his um, more physically defensive and more physically offensive form. So I just go for the um, recovery here because I knew I wasn't going to two-hit KO. Um, I go for the extreme speed here, predicting the close combat. And uh, he does indeed go for the close combat. So Fresh can take this relatively fine, even without the Intimidate. Still super bulky. And there's the defense drops. Um, now, with the Meloetta in the position that he is and Fresh in the position that I'm at, I predicted he was going to go for one more attack or switch. He ends up going for the Teeter Dance. So, predicting that switch, I wanted Fresh to be healthy again, and I actually went for the Morning Sun. So I made a misprediction here. Um, he went for the Teeter Dance as a like a dying move. I guess he assumed the Extreme Speed would take him out, but if it didn't, then I'd get the confusion. I end up switching out here because I'm really not scared of what this guy's gonna do since he's in that form. He ends up going for a round just to try and get some special damage off. He knew that I was a physical wall, so. Um, and then he goes for Relic Song again to switch back. And um, again, it's the most damage that he could do to this slow bro. It does a good amount, but I mean, he's physically invested Meloetta and in the wrong form. So I just go for the side shock in case there was a switch. Um, like, it was probably the wrong move to be perfectly honest. I just didn't want to go for the skull. It felt obvious. Um, so he brings in the Arceus here. And I'm not in a great position health-wise, and we've seen before that this Slowbro does nothing to this Arceus. So I just switch him out outright. I know that Fresh can take him, and I'm making Fresh do work against this entire team just to show the world Arcanine means business. Arcanine is power. Even the physically defensive, even the physically offensive kind. He goes for a recovery. Uh, now, Fresh... Fresh can put in some work, he's pretty strong for a physical, physically defensive wall, but I mean, I just went for the extreme speed here, and it does a lot less than I'd like. This RC is with 120 base stats in all regards, such bulk, so much bulk. Goes to the judgment here, does a little bit less than half, and after Leftover's recovery, I think I mapped it out that it wasn't even going to be a 3 hit KO. So I'm feeling okay being where I am, as long as I have enough health to survive a... Um, uh, Hyper Beam. 
So he actually goes to the Parish Song. So I've now seen this guy's set. I went for the Flare Blitz here, predicting that he'd go for the Judgment again. And it does a hefty amount of damage, enough that he's gonna get taken out by Burn this turn. So I'm glad I made that prediction that he wouldn't go for the Hyper Beam that turn. Otherwise I might have taken myself out with that Flare Blitz. But Arceus goes down, Fresh putting in so much more work. That's a second kill for Fresh here. And my Parish count falls to three. Latias comes in. And I predicted at this point that he would go for the um, the recover, so I just wanted to get a little damage on him before I made a decision about what to do next. He actually goes for the Mist Ball. Um, so this does quite a lot, and it's a special attack coming from a beast special attack from Latias, but it doesn't take me out because I resist it, and the poison doesn't quite take him out either. It's toxic. It's weaker on the first turn than regular toxic is. Um, takes about two turns. But because he put himself in that position, Arcanine gets another kill and actually ends up taking out the Latias also. So now Arcanine's sitting on three kills and oh, I'm just so proud of this little guy. Parish count drops to one and Darkrai comes in. And at this point, uh, he gets hurt by the burn a little bit. I'm like, finish it up fresh, go for the extreme speed, take out Darkrai, notch yourself a fourth kill, and that's the game. And I was just... At the end of that battle, I was just so happy that I got four kills with the, um, with the Arcanine. The, um, who else? How did everyone else die? I'm forgetting. The Gene set got taken out by the Gudra. So Gudra picked up a kill, notched a kill there. And the, um, Meloetta got taken out by the Slowbro. Even though I could have just stayed in with the... Arcanine giving him five kills, guys, so I end up with a 5-0 victory against this guy, and I know, not, like I said before, I know it's not the best battle ever, but I just, I had to show you guys. It was a Mega Latias, I haven't seen one before, and Fresh did so much work, and I just love highlighting Fresh on this channel, so I'll be having more battles um, later, more competitive battles, hopefully, against you guys, you challengers, so... Definitely um, hit me up in the ch in the comment section down below, or if you want to hit me up on Twitter. And hey, let me know in the comment section down below too. Um, what do you guys think of the changes I made to the Faithful Six? The bringing in the Landorus instead of the Excadrill, um, bringing in the Mega Scizor. I was also considering a Mega Venusaur for that position. Um, keep up some immunity. I needed the Steel type immunity that I, or sorry, not the Steel, the Poison type immunity that I lost with the Excadrill. So I wanted to keep, bring a steel type or a poison type for that kind of um, that kind of protection to toxic and toxic spikes and stuff like that. Um, but I ended up going with the Mega Scizor because I wanted the defog. Um, what do you guys think? You think that was a good good mix? Or if you guys have an MVP vote, put that in the comment section down below too. My vote's going with Fresh, but I'm a little bit biased because I kind of I love my Arcanine man. So um, anyway. Um, if you guys are interested in any of the information I've said, that should be in the annotation section down below. Follow me on Twitter. Like, favorite, subscribe, guys. As always, my name's Gym Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.